become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. I opened my mail, found this eviction notice, and don't know what to do with it. Actually, it is a 30-day notice to vacate the premises. Just for being a few days late? This isn't the first time you have been considerably late with the rent. I need to start the procedure to evict you. Are you taking my apartment away? This is a notice to inform you that the sheriff will evict you in 30 days if you do not pay up on your rent. Can I keep the apartment if I pay my rent in full? You can keep the apartment if you stay caught up on your rent. Otherwise, I need to find someone who can make the payments. I will go write a check right now. Thank you. I will need a cashier's check or cash, please. Somebody, please answer the phone. I've got it. I am interested in buying a house and need some information. Yes, of course. What area are you interested in? I am interested in Pasadena or Arcadia. What size house would you like? We need a medium-sized house with at least three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Are you interested in being in a particular school district? Yes, we want to stay in the ABC school district. Would you like a home near the lake or would you prefer a view? I would love to have a home with a view. Fine, I will begin a search for the perfect home for you. I will call you in a few days. Yes, sir. What'll it be for you? Two hamburgers and french fries. Is there anything else? Give me two Cokes also, please. Is this to go or to eat here? We'll eat here. Here you are. That's 8.50. And can I have some ketchup, please? It's on the service counter over there. Hello, Helen. Hi, Stephen. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks. How is Tony? He's fine, thanks. How's Emma? She's very well, too, Helen. Goodbye, Helen. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too, Stephen. Goodbye. There are many art craft items in this shop. I suggest you take your time, and you might find something you like. That's what I am going to do. If you have any problem, please come to me. I surely will. How much is this wood carving? You are an expert on it. That wood carving is very rare. But I'm so sorry. That is not for sale. That's okay. Is anything else recommended? Do you have any special request? I'd like to see some traditional arts. So that means you are shopping for presents? Yes, I'm just here to pick out some special presents for my foreign friends. Actually, I think the paper cuts is okay, because it is easy to carry and foreign friends are also interested in it. They think that is a miracle. Sounds good. I'll take paper cut. I have collected different kinds of paper cuts all over the country. You can pick the one you like best. You collect them yourself? I think that you are just doing the wholesale. As a matter of fact, I open the shop because I'm interested in the arts. I spent lots of time doing research on the folk art of our country. Wow, 
You are the expert on it. Can I try this dress on? Sure. The fitting room is right behind you. Well, I like the stite, but I don't think the color fits me. Could you bring me a green one? Sure. Wait a moment. Jenny, can you come and help me? Mom, what should I do? It's dusty everywhere in the house. Can you help me do the house cleaning? Okay, I will call Peter to clean it together. That's my good girl. The clothes need washing. I'll do the laundry. Why did you buy that painting? I think it's beautiful. I want to hang it in the living room. It looks like some kind of mistake. That's the beauty of it. The imperfection. Oh, who is the artist? Your daughter. She sold it at the school auction. Oh, how about we hang it over here where everyone can see it? I guess you see the value in it, too. Excuse me, how can I get to the post office, please? Well, turn left at the first corner after the crossroad. It's near the corner. You can't miss it. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Um, it is delicious. Oh, do you really like it? Yes. It's superb. Well, it's kind of you to say so. In fact, could I ask you for the recipe? Sure. It's really very easy. First, mix together an egg, two teaspoons of salt, and two pounds of ground beef. Then, add two ounces of milk. Are you with me? Yes, I've got it. Okay. Next. Put the mixture into a baking pan and bake it 45 minutes at 360 degrees. Wait a minute. I didn't catch you there. Could you repeat that? Sure. Bake it 45 minutes at 360 degrees. Now, I've got it. Thank you. What would you want, coffee or tea? Bring me a cup of coffee, please. How do you like it? I'd prefer a black one. Good afternoon, ma'am. My name is Mike and I am selling subscriptions to all sorts of periodicals. No, thank you. I am not interested. Please, ma'am. If you could spare five minutes of your time. I am sure we could find something that interests you. I wish I could, but I have to walk the dog and finish cooking so if you would excuse me. We have a great variety of magazines all about cooking. This one for example, is a bi-monthly publication with recipes from all over the world. Wow, that would be kind of useful. Do you have any other cooking magazines? Sure do. This one is a quarterly publication, but each issue has over 200 color pages of recipes and also many home decorating ideas. Wow, this is nice. Okay, sign me up for both publications. You mentioned you have a dog. Most pet owners sign up for this weekly newsletter that has information on dog care, pet shops and even pet sitters. That is exactly what I needed. What else do you have? Well, I also have. That was really a nightmare. Honey, what's up? I was stuck between 15th and 16th floors in the elevator. Oh, really? 
I know that telephone signal must have been shielded in the elevator shaft. So what did you do then? I pressed the emergency button. And then I stayed in the elevator waiting for the rescue. Did you panic at the time? A little bit, but I know that the elevator isn't enclosed. At least I wouldn't be smothered there. Was there anyone else with you? Of course, there are six other people in the elevator. They were so scared that someone even started crying. So you mean that you were the only brave one there? Yes, I have to call the property management. For what? Complaining about what happened in the elevator? Yes, they should check the elevator regularly. I have to give them something to remember about, and they should also equip fire extinguishers in the building. That was just an accident. You are worried too much about it. I think the property management will check the elevator and improve their service from now on. I know what you mean, but I'd better remind them again, and also remind them to repair the button in the elevator for the disabled people. That has brought the disabled people lots of inconvenience. May's birthday is coming. Shall we buy her a birthday present or let her choose one for herself? I think a surprise party may be better. But I forget when her birthday is. You are such a good father. It's next Sunday. Sorry. What shall we get for her? What about a cell phone? She is old enough to have one. Good idea. Shall we search online to find an appropriate one or go to a phone store? Maybe we can try shopping online. Sure. Okay. Here is the website. I'm sure that May would love the pink one. Probably. People's consumptive habit is changing rapidly because of the internet. Totally. Computers bring with them convenience. Oh, what's wrong? The computer went frozen. Oh, it's such a pain. We'd better go to a store later. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.